Hey, you shot a video and it's got this annoying flicker effect. I hate it, it's absolutely terrible. In this video, I'll show you how to get rid of it in less than a minute using Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure you stick around until the end because I also explain causes of flicker and how to avoid them in the first place when shooting a video. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and for everybody else, welcome back. Let's get started. Open up Premiere Pro with a clip that suffers from the flickering issue. All you gotta do is duplicate that clip twice. Hold down the option key and drag and drop that clip to duplicate it and repeat the process. Alright, in the next step I'll move the second layer one frame forward and decrease its opacity to 67%. That was easy. In the third step, I'll move the third layer another frame forward and decrease its opacity to about 33%. And that's literally it. So let's replay that. Wow. Flicker is gone. So easy. All right, but make sure you stick around a little bit longer because I'll explain what causes flicker in the first place and how it can be avoided. There are two common reasons that cause flicker in video. Number one, your shutter speed is too fast. As a quick fix, decrease your shutter speed to avoid unwanted flickering. It generally does the job. Reason number two, there is a mismatch between the frequency in your camera settings and the frequency of the light source. Without getting too technical, some countries in the world use neon signs and light bulbs with 50 Hz, others use 60 Hz. This is also represented in your camera by the geographical setting called NTSC and PAL. Basically, all Americans use NTSC and everybody else uses PAL. So let's give you an example. I'm in Asia at the moment and I'm shooting a neon sign with my camera set to 24 frames per second. Now important note, my camera country settings are set to NTSC as if I was in the US. So there is a mismatch between my camera and the light source. So all I gotta do is enter the menu and change the regional settings to PAL so the camera will match its frequency to the neon sign. So let's repeat the shot. The camera now shoots 25 frames per second and the flickering is gone. Please comment below if you find this useful and check out my other videos and I'll see you on the next one.